oddly oddly enough that you ask, but let me just play it for you, Dana. Now, he didn't. He almost killed me. But hold on. Do you think that you can still go out there and, and be competitive against the GSP, or do you think that you you would be an era fight? I can still do it. You can, can still do it. You can still, I can do, still it. do it. W- would you do it? Is that something you'd be interested in if they came to you with that? Of course. I mean, do you think do you think that's a viable card that Dana would consider? Oh yes. Have you have you talked to Dana about it? Nope. <laughs> I don't call the promoters. The promoters call me. Well, I mean, but you know, you may be, you may bullhead yourself right out of a gig. I mean, you might want to pick up that. That would be a that would be a good gig for you. Be how, about awesome call, how about I? How about I call Dana? <laughs> Please. Hoist. How about I call Dana? Say, hey, Dana, this is Bubba, and I got Hoist right here, and Hoist and make it official. What would you like? Please. What would you like? Hey, fight. I'm a fighter, man. That's I know, what I do for but, a living. But in particular, who would you like to fight? GSP? Doesn't matter. Well, no. We're, 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 making, GSP, believe it. we're making believe From it. GSP to Fedor, it doesn't matter. Being there, done that. Well, don't you think that maybe Dana should say, well, he's going to have to have a tuner-upper before, so how about we throw you like a BJ Penn or a Matt Hughes or a Matt Sarah? Hey, I'm a fighter. I so, tune up. I don't need no tune up. What are you, call, you really calling me old now? <laughs> By the way, Dana, I almost got my ass kicked there, Dana. Just to let you know. When I, when I when I when I suggest when I suggested a tune up fight uh, before going to GSP, he 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 wanted to kill me. Yeah, you don't like that idea. But uh, uh, you know, he's like, hey, I want to fight. He thinks GSP. You know, I'm like and thinking maybe not J- GSP. But I mean, what's your thoughts on that, Dana? How old is Hoist now? Uh, Brent, do you have me, any idea? Yeah, I think he's forty. Uh, let me forty. Think, let me, let, I'll, I'll get you the exact. Forty six seconds. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, Dana, he'd be good to bring back in some capacity. What I mean, he's got a hell of a following, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, he, he's 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 the man who who really made all this happen. He is the original pioneer, the original uh, the original ultimate fighter. I mean, he's 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 the he's the godfather of this whole thing. So, um, you know, he's a guy who I respect very much, and I've always had good dealings with him. He's always uh, he's always been a good guy. Um, you know, we you have. Know, a- I, I'd entertain anything. You know, I, I honestly, and I mean this with no disrespect to him, because I'm telling you, right. if I didn't respect him, believe me, I'd tell you. Um, I, I just wouldn't want to throw him out there to the wolves. You know right. what I mean? The uh, the game is pretty serious these days. I mean, right. if you look at a guy like Chuck, you know, the game just changes so fast, and these young kids are so explosive and so talented, man. No, it's a, it's a whole other world out there right he's 42. now. He's forty-two. Oh, by the way, he's only forty-two, Dana. That's not. That's not. I mean, that's Randy Couture age, right? Yeah. yeah. Randy Couture's been consistently fighting for the last however many years, too. Oh, know? yeah. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to to, to uh, you know make make the correlation there. But uh, you're right. I mean, you, you can't uh, you can't ever lock anybody in based on experience or where you've been because these young kids, man. I mean, it, it's they are. I'm telling you, and, and I and I and I respect these guys and I care about them. It's like Chuck Liddell. You know, people think, oh, he's trying to push Chuck out. Come on. That, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I love Chuck Liddell. I consider him part of my family. That's why, I, you know, I, I just don't want to see it anymore. Dana. He has nothing else to prove. He's he's 40 years old. He's the most famous mixed martial artist in the world. He's got more money than he'll ever spend, and he's, uh, you know, he's he's been a world champion. What else does this guy have to prove? Nothing. But just like Hoy said, he's a fighter, and Hoyce is a fighter, and fighters like to fight, man. That's what they like to do. And uh, but sometimes you know we all turn forty, man. Michael Jordan turned forty. It, it happens to the greatest in every sport. It does, man. You 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 still have the mindset that you can be competitive and play, but your body, you know, your body and your attributes just be like I'm fucking forty, you know. It's exactly. And what happens is these guys get out there and they see all the openings and they see all the things to do, and you just can't pull the trigger the way you used to when you were twenty six. I will tell you, man, my boy fucking uh, Randy Couture at 40 somewhere and kicked the shit out of Tim Sylvia, did he not, at 41 yes, he or 42 uh, years old? Absolutely. Couture is a freak of nature, man. Um, to, to, to have competed and still be able to compete at the level that he does is amazing. I had a very I mean, high... He was even hanging in there with Brock for yes. the first round. I'm going to be honest I mean? with you. I watched that, Dana, and I thought, man, I, I honestly, maybe I don't know as much as you guys do, obviously, but I, I, I was watching it, and I'm thinking, you know what? If he can get through the second, if he can just get through the second, stay away, get through the... He'll be okay, because, you know, obviously, you know, he's conditioned unbelievable. He had better conditioning, because Brock's just so... Not that Brock's not good conditioned, he's just so large that it's hard to be... You know, in that good a shape when you're that large. Now he's, you know, probably yeah, is, you know. But I thought, remember, I thought, remember what Brock did to Heath Herring for three full rounds nonstop. Destroyed him, right? And and Heath Herring is is twice the size of Randy Couture. 
True. Uh, True. Now, you know, Dana, a guy that's been uh, in the MMA business a long time, um, Rob Kahn, who's had five guys uh, on your last four Ultimate Fighters. Hunter, does, does Dana know that? Dana, yeah, you... we told him that last time, right. I think. He may have forgot. Yeah, that. he did. He may have forgot. And then, but what Rob was telling me, he goes, he goes, here's the difference. He goes, I got to tell you, before when the when the sport first started, it was, you know, high-level guys that, that were good at their art, be it jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai and stuff like that could not be the greatest athlete, but be good high-level guys in their, their art. He said now what Dana's got is high-level athletes that are yep. high-level mar- mixed martial artists. Now you've got the athletes with the skill, which is why it's gotten so much better. Exactly. And, and I, I said that years ago, and you know, the reality is it's only going to get better and better and better. Think of the guys like Couture and Chuck Liddell and Matt Hughes, the, you know, the stars that we've had over the last 10 years. These guys came from one discipline, whether it was wrestling or kickboxing or whatever it was, and they had to learn everything else. These kids that are coming up today are learning mixed martial arts. These kids are getting, you know, better at everything. They're good at everything. They're, they're well-rounded fighters, and like you just said, they're explosive, well-conditioned athletes. Now listen, you, I know you think I'm full of shit, but you've got to remember this name. It's going to be, it's going to be, this guy is going to be the biggest name ever to be in your sport. Let me guess, Monster Lobster. No, fuck him. No, <laughs> no. way. Okay. This name, this kid, because I've talked to him, and he after he wins the Olympics, and he's a three-time NCAA champion, and whatever he decides to do on the regular wrestling deal, he has already been talking to Rob Kahn, Brent, about you know getting into this in the summer times uh, when his if he can. His name is Eric Grahalis, and he's and he's 18 years old. He's a four-time Florida State wrestling champion, four-time. He is uh, the number one high school wrestler in America. Uh, he uh, he went. He's he's two hundred and forty one and zero. Wow. He's a one thirty fiver. Uh, right now, he just got a full ride at the University of Michigan. He's probably going to start as a redshirt freshman. But uh, he Brent, he wants to be and he wants to get into MMA. Uh, and I, I'm telling you right now, man, if if he ever does get into MMA, he might be the biggest name ever. Now, I, I know that I'm. It's a fucking far reach. But if this ever no, comes no, up, no, no, you know what? You're, you're right. One of the, one of the great things about the UFC right now and, and, and where we're going is, is wrestlers. You know, you think of all these kids who wrestled all through high school, college, and then have even gone to the Olympics. You know, a lot of these guys don't have the opportunity to become professional athletes like uh, like a lot of these other sports. And now with the UFC, these guys do. And believe me, I get excited when I see good wrestlers come up that, that, that want to uh, get involved. And if you look at any of the, you know, guys with wrestling backgrounds, they do very well in the UFC. Brock, Brock Lesnar being no. on. Look at Brock, so, look, no, look. I, I don't disagree with you, and, and uh, I get excited when I hear about things Man, like look, that. Look at your champion, Brock Lesnar. You know, a uh, an NCAA yep. champion. I mean, you know, that's he his his sport that he excelled in was 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 wrestling, uh, yep. was collegiate wrestling, folk style wrestling, and you Randy know, Couture, Matt Hughes, yep. Dan uh, Henderson, Dan Henderson, uh, Chuck Liddell was a wrestler. I mean. List goes on and on and on. Muscle, uh, Sean Shirt, uh, who's uh, yep. yeah, who's wrestling this week uh, at uh, you, uh, the late next pay per view. And, yep. and, and this and this kid Dana, he has the mindset. See, yeah. like he's got the mindset. By well, anyway, Rob Con, Rob Con saw him. I mean, you, I know you respect Rob Con. I mean, fuck it. Yep. I mean, you know, he's he he is a good teacher, and he knows. He looked at him and said, "I'm telling you right now, if I could get my grips on him and start teaching him." Uh, his stand-up game. And he's got ju- and jiu-jitsu, yeah, yeah, he goes, this guy could be, because the 155, you know, that's a, that's a great weight class. And he goes, that guy could be one of the greatest that ever wrestled, that ever fought for Dana, ever, if I could get a hold of him. Yeah, I'm excited, man. No, I, I love that stuff. I love hearing about, you know, some, some new wrestling prospect that's coming up and is interested in mixed martial arts. Can you ima- hey, Dana, can you imagine he's 220, he's never been beat, ever. Yeah, no, that's... But uh, anyway, remember, awesome. remember yeah. that name. Remember that Love name, it. and send me five per, five percent of his uh, royalties <laughs> when you, when you, when he starts making money. His name is Eric Grahalis. Don't forget that, Dana. Eric Grahalis. Eric Grahalis. Hey, you know what I wanted to ask you? What's happening? I've never been to NASCAR. This is my first time I've ever going. Well, I'll How many you, times have you been? Have you been? Oh, I, I've, I've been a ton. I've been a ton, and, and Tony, a lot of the drivers are really, really good friends of mine, and that's kind of some of the circles that I hang out with. But what you'll find, Dana, is that you have a cert, You, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the cross-section of their of their P1 demos 